that's the second time I've had a heart attack here at Comic Con this weekend. If you were in the Dragon Age panel, you would have seen the black and white version of that trailer. <laughs> we're cursed. We're video A B cursed here at Comic Con, but audience blessed. Alright, so hopefully we'll get that fixed, but in the meantime, um, I want to ask a couple of questions, some of which I can't ask because they had to do with some stuff that we're going to show. <laughs> That's awkward. So, awkward. Mm. Um, I personally think it's going great. <laughs> so, um, Robin Thorson. Robin Thorson, please. <laughs> I'm sitting next to her. All right, enough. So we had uh, Meaty Sweets on Twitter ask um, Robin, it's a very hard hitting question, what is your official drink of choice? Uh, my favorite uh, question ever. Um, anything. I, I, I said anything. <laughs> anything, no. I like uh, vodka. I'm a big uh, vodka. So you guys, when I see you out, um, I expect uh, some beds. <laughs> On you. <laughs> okay, and um, I think that actually for Felicia, we have a couple of announcements that we would like to make. We could do a couple of uh, really cool licensing things that we've been doing. Um, uh, for one, we're going to be doing some maquettes with QMX, so yeah, that's really exciting, and um, we're also going to be doing a munchkin pack. Yeah, that was a good choice, I think I'm going to be plus for that. Um, I think we're going, the art. we're going to announce the artist, Len Peralta. Yes, Len Peralta, who does Geek a Week. Um, Geek a week. So we'll be doing the art, so we're super excited about that. And that'll be out in early 2012. Wait, spring, I think. Next yeah. spring. Um, and then we also, because you won it, you're going to get a six pack of Joe's sodas with the, the guild on it. So, yeah. we have a little photo of the guild. A little like, photo of each of the guild on there, which will be cool. And um, last but not least, we did announce a, well, that's something. Um, uh, we also announced the um, Cryptozoic uh, trading cards. So those are cool things that um, Kim and I finally cleaned out our inbox and got done this year. <laughs> and uh, they're really cool partnerships with awesome indie people and we're excited to be able to share that with you. Yes. And we also are continuing our um, other partnerships with Jinx and also with Dark Horse. I'm really excited because Felicia let me co-write um, the, the Clara comic. The Clara one shot. So, uh, that was cool. And that's going to come out um, in September. September, yeah, I think. And um, so I wanted to ask the cast for those of you, for Jeff and Vince and Amy, who have your comics out now, what did you think about being portrayed in a comic? And did you like your storylines? Amy, let's start with you. Um, I really liked Tink's uh, storyline. I think that's. I mean, Alicia kind of attacked what all the fans were kind of wondering, her real real life, not her avatar character. Um, and I think that it was a pretty good precursor to what's going to happen in season five. I hope that's not too much of a spoiler. Too much of a spoiler? No, but I think, I think we're all going to learn a little bit more about my character, and I'm really excited. And I think There's some the secrets comedy, that will be revealed. Yeah, I think the comic think really kind of gets people excited for that. So. Yeah. They got excited because of the Jones soda. Oh god, Alicia's gonna like strangle oh. me later. No. Spoiler? No? No, no. no. Okay. Just, just saying that something exciting is coming is kind of spoiler. I don't know. I like you. Clearly, I think I'm Action, guys. Season five. I'm just scared and I don't want to ruin it. Alright, alright. She's scared of me. <laughs> we all are. Definitely afraid. Please save us. Please. We're all chained together under this. <laughs> Felicia has chips in our ears. So, oh. <laughs> Ow. 
And Vince Blades was, um, we left him in season four, he was pretty douchey, but I think maybe the comic explained a little bit about, um, you know, some of his backstory. Did you appreciate that as the man portraying him? I, I really appreciated that. I, I read the comic, um, I got a few of them, and I absolutely loved it. I, I really enjoyed how much of an idiot you guys made me. <laughs> I mean, in the show, I'm pretty dumb, but wow, Blades is a moron. It's not a, it's not a, and it's not a stretch, man. <laughs> we do, we do, we do no extra work. Oh God, I just vomited. And, and by contrast, I also love how Dina is pretty much the most brilliant individual in the entire show. <laughs> My sister. Um, I think it's one of those things that you really. I mean, geek or not, nerd or not, it's something that's very, very fun. Like, wow, I'm in a comic book. That's just, that is too cool. So I'm enjoying it, obviously, and I've read yours as well. We all have some great writing behind these. I can say, I write mine, so I'm not shining myself on here, but uh, Felicia, Sean, you guys are brilliant, and I love the book, so thank you. I have to say, that working with Sean, co-writing the Blades comic is really cool because he's a huge comic freak. Um, and, you know, my, my journey in the comics was more from the indie side, and since he read every single superhero comic ever, um, it was a really cool collaboration because he educated me a lot about some of the sort of cliches and uh, tropes of, of, of superhero and that, if you, if you read that comic, there's a whole one-page spread of how badass, you know, Blades is, which clearly can never come from my mind with Blades. Yeah, my, my favorite thing was, like, reading that, like, he can defend he can defend the world with two words. Your mom. I heard Jeff mutter. Uh, I just wanted to say that once in a while I'll call up a friend who doesn't know I'm in a comic book and I'll say, hey, uh, you want to go hang out at a comic book store? <laughs> and I'll, just be, I'll be walking down the aisles and I'll say, hey, what is this? What is this comic book? <laughs> that's weird. That's me. That's me in a comic book. <laughs> they'll, just, they'll just freak out and uh... <laughs> it's, uh, it's great. It's, uh, try that anytime you want. <laughs> but you can't try it because you're not in a comic book. I don't know. <laughs> so, only I can do what I just described. Um, Kim's trying to figure out... Oh, Kim's um, busy trying to figure out, you know, maybe we could show you that, that uh, awesome <coughs> recap and maybe uh, episode one of season five, but let me... <laughs> AB people, please listen to these cheers. Um, but I do have an announcement for season five that I can make. Um, uh, I sat down and I, uh, the intro said I wrote way too many parts for this season, but I wrote parts for some of my favorite actors and there's going to be a lot of cameos and a lot of... Uh, <laughs> Recognizable faces, which um, I will dangle uh, without being more specific, but I can announce two or three people, two people who are here and one concept. Um, I wrote a part for my um, very good friend, Aaron Gray. She's pretty hot. I stared her inappropriately a lot. Um, <laughs> my friend uh, Doug Jones. Just one up, Aaron Gray, a stand up. Well, he's uh, Doug is going to give everyone here a hug. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know. If you're familiar, I did cast uh, Doug in uh, Dragon Age Redemption, my other web series that's coming out later. And uh, I put, put makeup on him again, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to give Doug a, a chance to show his face, because he's an amazing, amazing actor, and um, you're going to be very happy to see what he has to say. Um, also, Mar Marissa Tantrone, my very good friend. <laughs> no, no writer, Dr. Horrible, Ruby number two-ish. One. She has the weird stuff. She was the one. Yeah, she has the weird stuff. She is going to be in the season as well. And uh, last announcement, uh, Master Chief. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it went off the rails, guys. You can smell it. Um, I'm going to ask another question. Let's see. Um, here is a At the Guild uh, to Sean. 
what was your biggest challenge in shooting season five from Sir Uno? Um, well, I mean, for this season, you know, uh, in previous seasons, you know, we've kind of, kind of gotten to this comfort zone of shooting in everyone's rooms, which is basically, basically uh, Felicia's entire house. <laughs> we shot over and over and over again. So this one, you know, we venture out of that. And we're actually shooting actual physical scenes where all the actors are together. But I, I want to say, I think, I think the best, uh, not the best, well, it's going to turn out to be great, but the hardest scene is, like all the other seasons, is in the season finale, when... <laughs> <laughs> So that part was really hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. It doesn't work if you say it after. Um, yeah, I do have to say that um, I, I, I had such a writer's block room writing season four that um, season five I went to Hawaii and I wrote the whole script in seven days. Everybody should go to Hawaii. I mean, really. Uh, they should give me a, a free vacation to Hawaii just for saying that. Here, so I'll go on my Twitter. Um, and, and I'm not saying that that's like magic, it's just because this, this side of the stories and the ideas and the idea of the, the guild going to the con was something that I wanted to do for years. And it's, it's like an homage to, um, you know, the, the show has been built by fans. And a lot of it has been done face to face at conventions. I remember the first year I was here, I was I begged the brown coats to let me sit at their table to sign and give out DVDs and book, and they Woo! helped us hand out book cards. Thank you, brown coats. Yeah, you guys are awesome. So like the show has literally been built by fan by fan and uh, and and click by click. And I wanted to do this whole season, even though we're on the same pretty much web budget as every other season, we uh, really blew it out um, to take the guild physically from the, behind their computers into, uh, into the world, really. Um, I think maybe it's good. We should, we should open up the questions, maybe, while we uh, are still working on the DVD. You guys probably have something clever to say. I don't know. I, I know you do. Can I just say that when uh, Felicia came back from Hawaii, she had a really great alabaster tan. <laughs> she, had, she did exactly the same as she did when she left. <laughs> Nobody could ever do that. I'm a robot. She's a robot. She's a robot. She's a non-tanning robot. Uh, uh, yeah, can we expect longer episodes of The Guild? Um, the, the episodes are a little bit longer this season. Um, I think they probably, we, we're only editing up to like episode three now because our release date will be on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays now, Xbox and then MSN. Um, so our first episode releases next week and we're going to go back and work on uh, episode four, but I think they're a little bit longer. You know, you might see like a seven or eight episode, eight minute episode. Um, basically, like I said, our budget is, is pretty much the same as it has been in past years. So, you know, there's only so much you can shoot minute-wise um, when you're working with this format. Um, it's basically like shooting a small independent movie. Um, I wouldn't rule out, you know, the experimenting with different formats in the future, but for this season, it'll be, you know, about the same, but maybe a couple minutes longer, just because we pack a lot of people in there. So the answer is, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to hurt you kiss now. <laughs> Hi, this is for Jeff, but everybody can answer it. What's your favorite way your why, character why has... Why can't Jeff just be the only one that... <laughs> why does everybody else have to get involved in my questions? <laughs> just give me the question, I'll answer it, and we'll move on. <laughs> Nobody else has to join it. What I say will be 100% satisfactory. There wouldn't be five other people to add to this. You will maximize your, your answer with my answer. Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Run <Rock> time! <laughs> well, what's your favorite way your character has done something to save money? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the really the um, answer for all of us? What was that? A question, a question for all of us? What's the weirdest thing your character has ever done to save money? Was that it? The forks done to save money? 
Oh, um, you're welcome. To save money, the... uh, in whatever I say, you guys back up before you get to it. The dance I'm about to say would be incredible. Uh, probably uh, him putting ice into his fridge. Uh, he has no electricity, so he just puts ice. God, that's a terrible answer. Yeah, worst answer. I think I'm going to ask up to the rest of the people. <laughs> I think the squad was also, was the squad, the fact that he went down the street and got like this bed, this baby bed, for, uh, for, uh, who was it? For Zebu. The fact that he got a baby bed down the street and he had to sleep in it, right under squad was, was cheap. I think I've given more suggestions to Felicia about how cheap he is just based on what, um, my family has done. <laughs> she could use all the suggestions I had. Well, you told me that your brother drove around looking for Wi-Fi in his car. And that's what, why that happened in season three. <laughs> oh, my, my brother? Yeah, right? Yes, he, he lives in an RV, and he'll drive up to neighborhoods and stop in front of somebody's house. <laughs> and he'll use your internet. <laughs> and I said, you should use that in an episode in the whole season. <laughs> That, that answer was like the Star Wars prequels of answers. Like, it was like horrible at the beginning and then it kind of like got tolerable like, towards the end. <laughs> I got to it eventually. Next question. I actually just wanted to ask on what I'd have to do to open a cheesy beards. <laughs> you want to physically open a cheesy beards? I want to physically open a cheesy beards. I I mean, I don't... It, do it. Because <laughs> the business looks like it's so awesome. I mean, it's not a quality establishment. It has burned down. I mean, I don't know about licensing cheesy beards. I guess you might want to put it in the Watch the Guild account and I'll get it to it like I did the maquettes after like two years. <laughs> Listen, it's only two ladies. We're doing this all. I should check my email. <laughs> Hi. Um, at the end of the last season, there was sort of, uh, it seemed, a change in Codex's opinion of Zabu. And I was wondering, can you enlighten us on what we'll see of that in the upcoming season? <laughs> um, There's a baby. <laughs> um, I don't, you know, yeah, yeah, there definitely was a huge shift in um, Codex's realization. Huge that she, um, what does that mean, right? <laughs> I realized halfway through saying the word huge that I, you probably, shouldn't, I probably shouldn't, I probably should invent the time machine and go back and not say that word. Can you do that later? Yeah, I'm on it. So what, you know? And, uh, I guess, I guess I won't. Oh. I didn't really look real, huh? Did it look real? That's the ladies' question. Ah, oh, you said like, right. <laughs> Um, yes, we, we're going to see something, I don't know if something happened up there. Um, we're going to see something happen with that. Uh, definitely her POV of him as a human being is a little bit altered, and uh, she might be exploring that as a character. It's going to be huge. <laughs> Time machine. Hi, is there a new music video on the horizon for the guild? We were not able to do a music video this, for this initial run, but we're definitely looking um, to do something later in the year. Um, I definitely have a couple of really awesome ideas, and we just weren't be able to, uh, between uh, doing Dragon Age and Eureka and the Guild, um, be able to fit in another uh, project. But definitely, it's my intention to do that because I like seeing clearly I take care of my voice. <laughs> yes, Aga. I don't know what that was. Uh, hi, uh, this morning on Twitter you commented on my t-shirt that I made of you, Felicia, so thank you. Wait, come up here and show everybody. He, he, he handmade it. Not too close. Not too close. <laughs> I just, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Thanks. No, really? Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could come closer, potentially, but don't come back. <laughs> When, I'm there, I when uh, the time machine comes, you know. Okay, um, 
Uh, what was your most um, favorite moment while shooting the guild, either one season one through four? Wow. Um, I have to say that it was. Uh, uh, what is the correct? What the look? Why would I say something up? What is the correct? <laughs> like any scene without you in it? That would be it. <laughs> Every scene with Dab. Though I, I have to say that the scene, actually, the scene in season one where we were messing around and he put his finger over the, it was like, I gotta do, I gotta do, I gotta do. That was. I mean, you don't have to be right now. No, no, no. That was a quote. <laughs> that was the funnest. Like we couldn't keep a straight face moment. Um, and that was that was that was the scene that, at least for me personally, that I was like, I think we're on to something. You know, like this was just sort of a fun. You know, concept that Felicia came up with, that I was like, oh yeah, I'll do your fun little video and help you and you know, lend you my cameras and blah blah blah, and you just help. But you didn't think anything of it, right? No, because like, Amy Okuda, I, I found that at the last convention, Amy Okuda was like, I don't want to go to this table read, right, Amy? It was the day after my senior prom, and I was so hungover. <laughs> It was like 10 a.m. video. I'm just kidding. All right. Well, no, I didn't want to go. No, I did not. But I did. I'm glad you did. Because you're perfect. Because my agent set me on it. They made me. <laughs> and see, that's how that's how Hollywood happens. <laughs> or or what video? I don't know. Yeah. To me, that scene was when when it came to life for me. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, also scenes where we're all together. I mean, there's a, a really, really fun scenes you'll see um, in episode one and in a lot of the episodes of season five where we're just acting together face to face versus like the camera being here and me reading everybody's <coughs> dialogue off screen while people act to, you know, blankly to a, a, a camera. And the cool thing is uh, Sean Becker, you know, edits it so beautifully that you can't tell that they're not talking to each other, but really it's just me squatting and reading everybody else's lines, like in a board voice. Not really, but... Um, but but it was, it's really cool, the dynamic with all of us together. So there's some season, season five, that definitely were the funnest to shoot for me. And uh, for season four, that the, the cheesy bird scene where I come up and there are all the bubbles and stuff, uh, that was a really fun sequence to shoot because everybody was in it. Not only us, but the Axis of Anarchy and some really fun guest stars. Uh, hey guys, uh, just a quick question. I was just wondering how much more of the Axis we're actually going to see in scenes in five. Of the Axis? Of Anarchy. Um, you know, they're not integral to the storyline for this season, but we do have 75 speaking parts. But So we do have a lot of people in this season. It's just um, we won't probably see much of them in this season itself. Maybe. <laughs> It's really awkward. Next question. <laughs> I love you, Finish. And uh, what is what was the idea behind your guild names? Oh, oh the, the character names? Yeah. Um, I found out recently that Zabu means Indian princess. <laughs> weirdly, completely inappropriate. <laughs> Kind of a play. A lot of people use like brands that kind of twist them a little bit. So that was Tinkerbell and Blades. I just have always been annoyed at people just adding Z's to things. <laughs> um, and Bork. Um, originally, Clara was Clara just because I just thought it was funny that this character. It was always the the, the start of the character. She was gonna have the same name as her, her avatar. And Bork, I was initially planning on him being a guy with like 18 characters, and all of them were like Borkior, and Borlock, and Bornado. Bornado? Bornado, yeah. So, and I actually got that, that joke in the comic, if you see when he creates his own guild. of uh, he, he names them all uh, kind of like that. I thought, I thought I thought of that joke. You thought that joke? Yeah, you did. I don't know. <laughs> I was talking, so I might as well create credit. Right? No? You're so angry now. Yeah. Next yeah. question. Hi, um, I'm just, uh, was one. Okay. 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 Are you okay? I love Legend of the Elf, so. Okay. Um, my question is about uh, Clara. Can we expect to see any more misadventures with her and her children? <laughs> Is 
Mr. Wiggly fan base. <laughs> I think uh, in this this coming season, I, I don't think the kids are that prevalent because she's prego. So I think in um, you know she's working on her lovely preg pregnancy, but um, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a fan of any hijinks that my character gets into with her kids <laughs> because it's just so off the wall. You have to love the fact that she doesn't mind that her kids are in cages. <laughs> it's insane to me, but. <laughs> She's endearing. <laughs> there's a, there, there's a Claire comic comes out in September, and um, you'll see a lot of the family dynamic in that character, in that, in that, in that issue. And there's some crazy stuff. Kim Evie's mind. If you've ever seen her show, uh, Gorgeous Tiny Chicken Machine Show, <laughs> she plays a wacky uh, Japanese talk show host who just is completely loopy off the wall. And uh, so I was like, you need to write Claire with me because you write dippy things. And there's a letter. In, 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 in that issue, there's, there's a particular uh, page spread of a, of a letter, and I don't want to say anything more than that, but it's like the funniest thing I've ever read in my life. And uh, so Clara has a unique point of view and probably should not have that extra child. That's <laughs> but you know, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, my question's for Bork. Um. And anybody else? <laughs> Nobody else. Just, just me. Bork. Not even Jeff, just Bork. Uh. <laughs> 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 what was that? I'm channeling Bork right now, go ahead. Uh, oh, I sorry. really enjoyed your performance at Woodstock the other day. Yes! And I was wondering if there was any plans in an upcoming season to chronicle your um, stand-up career. Um, what do you think, Felicia? <laughs> chronicle it, I guess, on a, in the actual episodes, or maybe an extra, or I don't know. I mean, what? So now you know it's pretty much I'm, so, I'm sorry, Felicia wasn't listening. The question wasn't for her. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that important if it's not for her. Um, yes, it will be in the future. Next, uh, season six will be just Vork. <laughs> it's all coming up Vork. He keeps wanting a spin-off. It's all, it's all coming up Vork. Is that so it's bad? It's not gonna happen. It's, it's a great it's, name. It's all coming up Vork. It's not a good idea. Hi, um, on behalf of the Guild of Extras, yeah. we thank you for the opportunity to work with you, and my question is, has anyone ever approached you about making the Guild a full-length um, TV show? Um, thank you for saying that. Was anybody a, an extra in this season of the Guild? Could you please stand up? Because we'd love to acknowledge you. guys for coming out and making our season five a convincing convention because we could never have done it if, unless you guys came in and supported us and and, and and made it seem like they were really at a convention. So it, it was hugely important to us. Um, and as far as the TV show question, you know, um, like I said, we're, we're concentrating on the season ahead of us. I don't ever eliminate anything. Every season I'm like, while well, I'm writing it, this is the last season. And then I come up with a cliffhanger or like a, a last episode that sort of leads me to think, oh, this would be a cool thing we haven't explored yet. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't ever rule it out. It would just have to be the right time to transfer the story into a completely different format um, because 22 minutes is much different from the hour, hour and a half format that we've uh, been used to in the past. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so I think that we have something to show you. The resolution is not going to be great because we unfortunately, I. I didn't bring it back up. I, I don't know what I was thinking. But I have stuff on my computer that is what we have. It's just not as great of a resolution. So I don't know. You guys still want to see it? <laughs> Alright, you guys, the clock on the floor is as we 
two minutes. You have one final short question. Anyone? Who has the most epic question ever invented? To Will you marry me? <laughs> well, I mean, that's an epic question. <laughs> and the answer is no. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> I think he asked her a question and they're just like talking now. Somebody's getting married. Hello, I'm Aaron. Um, I really love the guild and all the cast and there was the Jeff Lewis five minute comedy hour where Woo! some of the guild uh, got to cross over to that show and, and I know that they were trying to do season two on Kickstarter and I want to know if any um, plans for more crossover of the guild characters. Yeah, I want to know that too. Jeff. Me too, me too. Uh, I think me and Cindy are the only ones. my show. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really fun to see. Uh, I think people really got a kick out of seeing people, uh, you know, cast up the guild in other parts. I mean, especially uh, Vince playing my son was. <laughs> Vince and Tara playing my son was. Uh, they got a kick out of that. So uh, I definitely have plans for. Everybody else who's in the cast to be in the show, I promise. And everybody, everybody um, who was in it the previous season too. It was really fun. So um, I hope. Wait, they, they they get to do it again? Yeah. What was that? Uh, I mean, I wrote you a, like a huge part. You 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 put me in Legend Neil just once every season. Not what? I mean, a couple times, three times. Did you be an epic character in Legend Neil? Or... <laughs> That's true. How awesome that part was. Mission accomplished. Alright, you guys. Well, thank you so much for coming to our panel. Thanks for your